Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, my name is Nelson Nahum. I am CEO of Zadara Storage. And um, I'm going to present uh, how storage as a service, and especially Zadara Storage, can solve many of the problems uh, of IT infrastructure with, related to storage. So what are the main uh, storage challenges uh, today? Uh, first of all, the obvious one is that uh, people need a lot of capital to acquire the storage systems. Um, obviously, it's a capital uh, extensive uh, proposition, and we want to solve that. You will see how uh, Zadara Storage solves this problem. The other issue is that there are different storage products for different kind of workloads. So you, you buy a box that is very good for block, you buy a box that is very good for NAS, another box of software for object. Uh, if you want a backup and archival or SSD storage, every different workload has a different storage box. And typically, you will buy from different vendors, and that means that you need to uh, deal with multiple vendors, deal with different storage boxes, uh, train your people to manage these different storage boxes. And obviously, capacity that is in one cannot be shared with, uh, in others. So this is a, a really big problem today. Uh, the more different boxes you have, especially from different vendors, it becomes uh, really complicated to manage. Uh, as I say, you need to have a storage team expert on every one of these uh, different products. There is a support problem. Storage uh, is really important, and typically vendors give four-hour support. A four-hour support is an expensive proposition, but still four hours is very long time. And you need uh, for service providers and, and IT that need 24 by 7, you need a much faster um, support response. And all these uh, problems lead to the last one, that uh, today buying storage requires extensive uh, capacity planning, you, a lot of research, you want to know that you are doing the right thing, and you cannot basically shrink. You cannot say, oh, I did a mistake. I spent uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars on this storage box. I should buy a different one. You cannot do that. So this lead to a really extensive capacity planning and negotiation with the different vendors. And we want to solve that. Obviously, this uh, impact your agility. If, if you cannot go quick uh, and you require a lot of uh, planning and negotiation, impact your agility. This presentation is about Zadara, how it solves all these uh, critical items. What we provide is enterprise storage and as a service. So we provide the same capabilities that you will have in traditional enterprise storage boxes. That means uh, data protection features, performance, security, snapshots, clones, remote replication, SSD caching, clustering, file, NFS, and SMB, and, and SAN, all these good features of enterprise storage, but in a pure as a service and OPEX model. And this can be in, in one of our public locations or in your own data center. So we will ship to your data center the, the, the storage, the, the software. We will do remote uh, DevOps on the storage. For you, it's a, like a cloud storage, but in, sit in your own data center, and you will pay only for the usage. You don't pay for what uh, you have uh, in, in the data center. This came from a multi-tenant system, and our software, what is really unique, is in the separation between tenants. And this is how we can support multiple workloads. We can support a database running uh, against a storage that is pure flash, uh, block storage, flash, the fastest uh, performance possible. We support uh, NAS systems with uh, 
uh, high capacity SATA drives, storage for archive or, or, or um, backup, and this workload can coexist in the same multi-tenant system. And, and how we do that is because we can separate really the workload. We can have the what we call a VPSA. VPSA stands for Virtual Private Storage Array. And when we create the cloud, every VPSA has a dual controller configuration and has dedicated drives. We are the only service provider that can allocate dedicated drives, physical drives per customer. So customer A may have four drives, let's say SSD drives, that are across multiple nodes. And customer B may have 10 different drives uh, that are SATA high uh, capacity at a lower cost per gigabyte. And each one will run different workloads. Each uh, one of the VPSA has different controllers. It has se completely separated networking. The network of VPSA 1 is separated from the network of VPSA 2. So we really separate the network. Every tenant field that he has the enterprise storage with all the capabilities and the full management of the storage. But at the same time, this comes from a multi-tenant system, so the provision of the storage is instantaneously, and you can easily expand and shrink and change if you decided that the drives that you uh, allocated are, are not uh, the ones that you wanted. You, you can try other drives for a week and remove the drives or expand the cache or, or lower the cache utilization for a few hours, and we track all these uh, actions, and basically you pay for what you use. You don't pay for what you have installed. At the end of the day, our cloud, cloud storage is basically a physical infrastructure based on standard x86 server. We use uh, super micro servers with Toshiba drives, and this can grow from two nodes to hundreds of nodes. Uh, we use OpenStack uh, as part of our own implementation. Uh, and when a user creates a VPSA, it decides how many drives, which type of drive, which type of controllers. We give them an IP address and a networking just for this uh, customer. And you can see here multiple customers with multiple VPSAs. Each VPSA is completely redundant. It's uh, a transparent failover. So it has all the performance, reliability, and data features of uh, enterprise storage array. But it comes from a multi-tenant system, so if the, the customer of VPSA 1 created a VPSA and he used for three months and deleted the VPSA, he will pay only for the three months, and the storage, are all, all the resources are going back to the pool and can be used by other customers or other tenants. So we provide really good isolation between workloads, and this is why we, the same product can support backup storage at a lower cost per gigabyte, a high performance SSD storage for databases at a higher cost per gigabyte, and anything in between. W today in the public cloud we are connected uh, to Amazon and to Azure and other cloud providers. So anybody that uh, is an Amazon customer or Azure can use our storage and mount our storage direc directly into the VPC of the customer. We also have a private uh, cloud uh, um, product, or it's the same product, but in the private cloud. We call this OPAS, on-premise as a service. And obviously, you can use with OpenStack Cloud or, or other cloud, VMware Cloud or, or Microsoft. Uh, so. What is OPAS? We ship uh, the hardware to you. It's fully managed by us. We ship the uh, firewalls. We have dedicated line. We do the DevOps and support and installation uh, remotely. Uh, it's totally pay-per-use. You basically start creating your VPSAs like you do in the public cloud, and you will pay for the allocations and the resources that you use. Now, because we have uh, remote operations, we can provide much, much faster response than the four hours of typical vendors. We, we know immediately when a drive fails, when a hardware fails, when a software fails. 
we, the, the system is already integrated with the ticketing system. We probably we will know before yourself. And you, we have the access to fix and remedy the situation. Uh, today we are installed uh, worldwide. Um, we did installations in Australia, in Japan, uh, in Zurich, uh, many in Europe, and many, many in US. Uh, and our response time is, is immediately. Basically, after a few minutes, we get a ticket. And if there is a drive failure, our DevOps team can go and replace the drive logically with another drive of the same cloud. Uh, and from time to time, you can ship the drives back to us, and we can ship you uh, other drives. But the main point here is that we can provide 15 minutes or less response time for all the storage needs. We have a two-month try and buy uh, capability where we will ship for two months the equipment. You can use it. And if you, if you like, you can continue and, and become a subscription uh, customer. Uh, if you prefer not to do, you can ship the equipment back. And even after you decide to continue, any month or any day, you can decide, OK, I, I, I want to shrink. I want to remove this data center, return the equipment, or, or I want to expand. You, the action of getting more storage or less storage doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it's only when you consume that we track and uh, we matter, and, and you are charged by the consumption itself. This is an example of the private portal. Uh, Cal Poly University is one of our customers. And for every uh, customer, we give up a, a private portal to uh, provision the storage. Uh, the main thing here is that you will see your logo plus multiple regions. So our portal supports multiple regions. If you have multiple data centers, there's one portal that you can create storage in all the data centers around the world. When you create the VPSA, you can select the, what we call the storage uh, engine. Those are the storage controllers. Uh, always, we have high availability and in dual controllers. And you can decide different uh, levels of performance, CPU, memory, etc. And also, you decide how many drives and the type of drives. Uh, today, we support mostly three types of drives. SSD drive, SAS 10K RPM drives, and 5 terabyte SATA drives. Uh, when we ship systems, we ship with all three. So you can create a VPSA that is a SATA drive, big, you know, 100 terabytes just to store files and provision this as an NFS or, or SMB. Uh, and you can create a database uh, storage based on SSD or, or SAS and, and, um, in from the same system. Okay? And you can see here the prices. So when you hit submit here, after a minute, in this case, we have a a uh, boost controller VPSA with 16 SAS 600 gig drives. After a minute, you will have an IP address with the um, management available for that storage array. And you will see in the GUI the 16 drives. You can create the RAID groups, the pool, volumes, block or file, and snapshots, policies, etc. And you can do replication between different data centers. You can do replication to the cloud. Uh, totally seamless. Again, on premise, uh, you pay for what you use. This is an example of two nodes with physical drives. We uh, customer created a marketing uh, or customer one VPSA with the green drives, uh, customer two or engineering VPSA with the blue drives, and uh, customer three uh, with the pink, I guess, uh, sales um, customer tree has a different VPSA. Each VPSA has, again, different drives, different controllers, different IP addresses, different networking, and they are isolated between them. You can see here how you can create multiple VPSA for multiple tenants over the time. At some point, we see, we have constantly monitoring, we see that you have enough uh, free space. And we will ship you for free another node that you can install and automatically become part of the pool. Uh, and in this way, you can continue to grow. Now, if, if you delete one of the VPSAs, the next month, the, 
the invoice will go down and you will not uh, get billed for the VPSA. Some people questioning uh, what is the difference between a lease or a flex lease and on-premise as a service. Uh, lease in general is two and a half years, uh, two, from two to, to five years. On-premise as a service, we have a minimum commitment of a minimum usage, not of what we send, uh, of six months. Uh, ours is co pure paper consumption. Uh, we start small and you can add uh, as much as you want. Uh, very easy to expand. Ours is fully managed. You don't need to understand anything about Zadara to provision block and to provision file and to provision object and any other workloads. Uh, we will do all the support and, and management uh, remotely. Uh, one important thing is that if you buy one petabyte of one of the traditional vendors, and si uh, even if you lease for three years, and after six months they reduce the price, because the price always reduces, you will not get credit for the petabyte that you have in the floor, for, uh, and probably the, the next purchase you will, you will have price reduction. In our case, it's different. This is as a service. If you have one petabyte of Zadara in your floor, and we reduce the price, and we do reduce the prices, uh, then next month you will see your, your uh, bill go down. And uh, in this manner, you don't need to do long-term uh, capacity planning and negotiations. You know that you will have always the right price. We are connected to Amazon. Uh, and you know that Amazon and Azure, they like to reduce prices uh, quite often. So obviously we need to compete with them and we need to uh, continue the, the reductions. And this affects you immediately because the next month you will see less, uh, less, uh, less money to pay. So this is completely different when it is as a service or leasing. In leasing, you don't get uh, uh, the advantage of price reductions. And obviously, as I said, the support and, and services included. You don't need to know anything about Zadara. We do all the DevOps. And the support is much faster because the, the system is integrated uh, with our support system. Our people, we have 24 by 7 support. Uh, and we can react immediately. We can do things because we have more uh, redundancy in the cloud. Uh, we can do things and, and solve the problems immediately, even if it is hardware failures. Obviously, for, for software failure. Every VPSA is an enterprise storage array and has all these capabilities that you can see in, in top of the line uh, storage array. We do support uh, NFS and, and some SMB, uh, including Active Directory integration that is very important for many customers. We do block iSCSI or ICER, uh, RDMA. We support large volumes, uh, 100 terabyte volume, there is no problem. We support data encryption at rest and in flight. And the important thing is that every VPSA can have a different encryption key and can be managed by the user. Every user controls his own encryption key. Obviously, we support clustering and team provision volumes. SSD caching is part of the standard VPSA. Um, all the upgrades of the storage firmware, we do this transparently to you. It's uh, totally not disruptive. And we do this ourselves. You, you don't need to take care, even if it is in, in your own data center. Everything is 100% uh, RESTful API. So for whatever, everything that is available in the GUI, you can do a, a REST API and, and automate that. In terms of data protection features, we have unlimited snapshots. We have uh, writable clones uh, that are very popular in, in enterprises. Uh, we do mirroring synchronous and asynchronous. Uh, we can have mirroring across data centers, <coughs> synchronous mirror and asynchronous mirroring. And you can also do mirroring into one of the public cloud locations that we support today. Uh, we do online volume migration that is completely transparent. And this is very good when we, <coughs> sorry, we introduce new hardware. You don't need to go through a tremendous painful migration. If, if we support today five terabyte drives 
and we are looking actually to release six terabyte drive shortly, we can ship the drive, we do online migration, and you can ship back the, the five terabyte drive. So you are constantly on the top of the, the technology. We can ship new nodes, do migration, and remove the old nodes. So you, you don't need to go through the, the refresh of the hardware. We do that. And it's totally online. We have a feature called multi-zone HA, where a VPSA can be stretched uh, across two different data centers and have automatic failover. This is for uh, high-end customers that require zero downtime and zero data loss in case of disaster. This is a regional uh, inside the same region. And this is a very good opportunity for service providers that have multiple data centers or are using data centers like Equinix and CoreSight. Uh, you can provide better services than some customer they have, because in order to do that, a customer may need to have two data centers, teams, uh, expensive uh, equipment. Uh, you can provide the same capabilities at a much lower cost if you have your own data centers or you use Equinix or CoreSight uh, collocation facilities. And, and we provide the software that can do the transparent failover between uh, data centers so the customer uh, don't lose, not, not only don't lose any I.O., it doesn't lose any uh, minute or any second of, of uh, downtime. So this is uh, my summary slide. Uh, the problems that I propose on, on the left, need capital to buy storage, Zadara is no capex, pure opex, consumption, um, need zero, zero capital to start. Um, Different storage product and silos for different use. We solve this. We, we can provide storage that the same storage as a service can support a backup uh, storage and, and high performance database storage and file systems, etc. You don't need to hire a team of storage experts because this is fully managed by us. Um, you get much faster response than the top uh, storage vendors because we don't need to send somebody on site and we don't need to have teams everywhere. We, the system was created uh, to do remote DevOps and we have the team of experts that can access at any time any uh, storage installation in the world. So it's a 15, 15 minute response time as opposed to four hours that cost a, a lot of money. The 15 minutes response time is part of the, the, the pricing. Uh, and obviously because there's no way that you can get it wrong, you can try you can uh, very easy to migrate storage, to reduce, to expand, to change, um, and you pay only for what you use, then you don't need to have a extensive capacity planning and negotiations. You can just start and you see what is good, what is working good, you continue. If it is not good, you delete and you stop paying. There is no, no problem that you purchase something that is not good. So it's totally... Uh, on demand and you can expand and shrink at any time. Thank you very much and uh, remember to stop buying storage.